Greetings YouTube, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I thought I was going to have a Roidme X30. They sent me an X20 years ago and the quality was really good. And then something happened where the politics got involved and I guess they couldn't import them, but now they're importing them again. And again, the products are fairly high quality and they're owned uh, by a company I can't pronounce, but they make cell phones and other stuff in China. They're known for fairly quality quality stuff so they sent me this little guy and this isn't even a stick back this is I mean you can see the size of this thing it it looks kind of like a magic wand uh, but all chokes aside I'm curious to see what it is is this something you could use to vacuum your desk maybe is this something that would be useful to keep in the car if you spill something I'm, I'm not sure and uh, we're gonna explore today kind of what this is, and again, full disclosure, they sent this to me, but no money has exchanged hands. And I, I'm gonna try and be objective about this, but I generally don't like this sort of product. I think this sort of thing is kind of silly, uh, but we're gonna see if there's any real use for it. So let's open her up. And of course the box and the packaging, is all really nice and high end. They really do know how to do that over there. So it's in a box. Get a manual. Oh no, it's a USB C cord. I say oh no because uh, USB C does not have nearly enough power to make a vacuum motor work. Ooh, it's, uh, it's got a lanyard. So I guess if you're doing your extreme sports and you need to vacuum, huh, there's a lanyard. It appears to be an LED. This is supposed to be your brush. So that, so that should pop up. And that's your brush. And then, oh, that took a bit of force. Uh, there's your motor. Oh, that's the world's smallest uh, exhaust filter on the end of there. A very strange symbol right there. And this company in China is, is known for a lot of their uh, AI photo software. The filter and dustbin are, like I said, they are small. I mean, you see my big man hands here trying to pull the filter out. <laughs> that is the filter, that is tiny. <laughs> um, yeah, and then this is just your dustbin. So this thing is a bagless magic wand back, we'll call it, I guess. I, I, I just don't know what else to say about this. This is so small. Roid me, I know you guys are gonna watch this. Send me an X30, I'd like to do a review on that. And that's all you really get in the box. So we are going to go ahead and let this thing charge and we'll turn the camera back on whenever it has power. All right, this thing has finished charging here overnight. Let's see how much suction it has. We've done our best to seal this. As you can see, the device here is about as big as my suction gauge. So let's see how much working vacuum it's got. That was most interesting. So we saw that it had about 41 inches of vacuum sealed suction. So it could actually pick up probably some heavier objects that shows us, but when we tested its working vacuum, and which means it's like a practical sealed suction test, it barely read. I'm gonna say maybe five and be generous. Let's go over the controls of this. So you have to hold the on button. That's your low speed. That's your high speed. And then you have to hold it to turn it on and off. There is a flashlight there. There's some grippy stuff, your USB-C port. And that's, that's really it. That just kind of folds up and down. And then if you want to empty this, I've really struggled uh, the two times I've had to empty this already, is that this gets really sealed on there, right? They use a nice silicone on here, which is good, it makes a good seal. But yeah, and you can see just from what little stuff you've seen in the video, just how impacted this filter is. So this is not a cyclonic vacuum at all. It's just got the filter right there. And unfortunately that means it's gonna fill up fast. Not to mention that the dust container, well, you can see at the side next to my hands. We're gonna do a pickup test. Now, if you follow the channel for any amount of time, you know I usually lay out about 15 inches worth of stuff but because this thing is so small, I laid out half as much. So we're gonna see 
if it can pick that up. And of course that is flour, cereal, cat litter, and fresh pet hair. Now we've also switched to the studio microphone, so you're going to hear the real sound of this thing. Let's listen to it on low first. Hi. Right. I just can't push forward. That's very strange. Uh, so what happened is when I pushed forward, the brushes actually retracted on the second pass. So we tried to just do uh, what we could with the brushes down on this pass here. Um, right away, it missed some of the flour on both passes. The uh, a little bit of breakfast cereal crushed. I don't know if the camera will focus that, but a minute amount. Um, it left the cat, ooh, yeah, it left cat litter behind. And it seemed to pick up the pet hair. So, very strange results from this. And again, this is a, it's not quite a full-size vacuum. Let's see how it does on some bigger objects. Now, this sort of thing is meant for you to keep in your car. So, let's see how it does with, like, a handful of breakfast cereal right there. Oh my, it appears I have clogged our brand new vacuum. So luckily, it's easy to uh, unclog. Let's see how that goes on a second run. Well, I'm gonna say right now, I wouldn't do big objects with this. It just seems to get stuck in here uh, every time and then they just kind of fold around. Uh, so not too pleased with the results of that. All right, we're now in my pickup truck and this is really its intended use, is a car vacuum. So I hope it does a little bit better. I've got just some schmutz right here on my wireless charger, stuff in here, and you know, various stuff you have in your car. So let's see how it does. Again, we're gonna be doing this on high. So again, things get stuck right here on the intake. I'm not sure what it is. There's like a lip. Oh, okay, that's actually what it is. Yeah, there's like a lip in here and that lip isn't smoothed out for whatever reason. And things just keep getting stuck there. That's where the Cheerios got stuck earlier. So it's not really good at large object pickup. It's not great at fine object pickup. It doesn't quite really fit in the cup holder. <laughs> I'm not sure what what the actual intended use would be for this product. And you know, Royd Me really impressed me with their last cordless vacuum they sent me. They sent me an X20 and I thought the quality and the fit and the finish was great on it. And I'm gonna look at, tell you from about here back, the quality and the fit and finish of this product is really nice. The amount of, the actual amount of suction we're getting out of this thing, way more than I expected. You know, 40, 40 sealed inches is 
you know, quite a bit for something that was USB-C powered. And, you know, the idea that we could just charge this in my truck or in your car, keep it charged for when you spill something, it's really kind of a cool idea. The problem is, this is all the motor. The collection unit is this little section here. And there's no standard nozzles on this, so you can't fix this by changing the nozzle out, unfortunately. And this nozzle, the person who designed it, there's too many little nooks and crannies right here, unfortunately. So this is just kind of a disappointment, and it, it's a real shame to see uh, Roid Me, who has really just made good products from what else I've seen. And like full disclosure is I've used their cell phones overseas, and I've used some of their products that are not on the U.S. market and been very impressed. And again, that X20 was really impressive when I saw it. I hope they send me an X30. I would love to review an X30. Uh, but until then, this is what they've sent me. So, and the, these are just kind of my findings with this. And again, it's a real disappointment. And full disclosure, they sent this to me for free. So it's not like, oh, you know, I, I had a bad customer service experience. I'm supposed to be giving them a great review, you know, or that's the idea of them sending out these products is they're so impressive. They'll speak for themselves. Unfortunately, when this one's left to speak for itself, it underperforms. So thanks for watching, folks. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Have yourself a wonderful day.